Okay, now we are heading straight into Venom. Uh, get ready for a massive pile or massive lineup of enemies. Uh, there's, yeah, look at that. Just look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh! Yeah, there's, they're, ev they are literally everywhere. There is, I mean, look at, look at how many enemies we have down here. Literally, it's just. A crazy deluge of oh man, I don't think I got anybody with that one. Ish. Again, you know our bombs aren't going to be too much of an issue, but then it would be nice to have some bombs left over. That isn't that is a fact. Um, not sure if we'll have that luxury, but all right, I think we got most of them in that particular bunch. Ooh, Slippy taking the offensive. Of course, remember what happened last time that happened, Slip. You, uh, you wound up almost dead. There are multiple wrenching paths again in this uh, particular level. So, some have more enemies than others, but I, I don't know what the optimal path is, in all honesty. So, whoa! Oh, jeez, okay. Uh, what? Oh. Ha! Take that, you suckas. Alright, so again, there are a few enemies down here for us to defeat. Ah! Again, we, we might not want to be too down low. Just because of... Oh, jeez, now what? Okay. <clears throat> okay, what are you gonna... Alright, thank you, Rob. Ow. Alright, so let's try going left with you. See what we can find over in this direction. Anything useful? Oh my gosh. Oh no, what is this? Uh, if Peppy were here, he would tell me to use the brake! And to use the boost to get through! Oh my gosh, that was... Wah! <laughs> that was... That was... Whoa. Again, one problem is, here in Venom 1, you don't get a whole lot of opportunities for points. Which is unfortunate. Hello? But we can! That's the thing. Alright, um... How do I want to break this up? I think... It's a temple, Falco. Same here. Especially since the last time I came in through here, I nearly killed myself. Hey, what's that thing? Let's kill it. So there's, we do have this rock enemy going on over here. Um, don't do anything stupid oh, by getting too close because he does have a arsenal of weapons at, or well, not an arsenal, but he can make rocks, you know, fly out of nowhere at you. Okay, and woo! Well, we've already got this. Wow, look at that. We've already got this guy pretty dead. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, oh jeez, where do we go from here? Where do- oh, Eep! Eepity, eepity, instinct! Instinct! Oh, instinct did not help me out too much. That instinct was almost killer. Ha ha ha. Okay, however, now the giant rock head is, is splashing around. And, yeah! Okay, just die a little more, a little more. There you are, you are dead. And you are dead, and... Of course, the question is, what were you? I think unlike unlike the last episode, I'm not gonna break this up into two segments because I think the Venom one segment is short and is a little too short, you know, to try and compact it all into you know two separate videos. So all right. So that being said, we now confront Andros yet again. You don't! We already killed you! You shouldn't be here! So, as you guys notice, we only have like 150 points in this run. It's a lot easier to get your medal through Venom uh, Part 2, you know, with Star Wolf, versus than it is here in this section of the game. I, I'm sure it is possible, I'm honestly not... Uh, 
100 percent sure on that. Uh, but you know, I would reckon it is. I mean, look at all the bad guys there were. And once again, we have the fight with Andros's monkey face. I think what I will do this time is instead of just going straight for the kill, uh, I'll, I'll play with him for a while. So let's let's see. so let's start messing around with his hands a little bit. Oh wow! Super monkey punch out. Uh oh, super monkey mosquito swapped. Whoa! Slow down, Fox. Slow down, slow down. Wow! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is bad. This is bad for the. For the for the McCloud, we got eaten. We got curbified. Ew, that was not. And oh no, our wings! Oh dears, oh dearie dears. Our wings have been injured. We have little sparks flying off in multiple directions. That is not good. And in fact, we naturally uh, slow down as a result of it. So can we still keep destroy them? No. I do not want to be eaten, and where are all these rocks coming from? I don't get it. Okay. Of course, we do have some artillery on our hands, don't we? Let's go ahead and use it. Boom! Yeah, that's right, Mr. Monkey Face. Now show your brain, and we'll just head back home. Uh, what are you? Okay. Alright, so we now have a massive uh, fight again with... Alright, seriously, the battle this should not be taking nearly this long. Okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. Wow, what? Okay, that battle should not be taking that long, seriously. But of course, uh, like last time, you know, we destroyed the Venom base. Uh, Fox, with his clipped wings, are literally with his clipped R wings. Can he make it out? Oh! Barely! Just barely. R wings in rough shape, but... He got it, He got the job done. Of course, Fox would be... or Peppy would be like, Fox, you're okay! Fox does good. So, for our final total, 1305 on this path. This is actually better than I was expecting. Very cool. And Peppy's okay too, despite being shot down in Bulls. Uh, from this particular point on, I think what I'm just going to do is the, the credits are exactly the same. So I'm not going to bother you guys too much with that at this point. However, I did want to show off really quickly. Let's hear one, two, three, four, five ships. Hey, it's Bill. Hi, Bill. How are you doing? And Fox is like, yeah, we totally just rocked the universe. And Bill's hanging out with Peppy too. Isn't that nice? Who was Peppy talking to? That's one question I do have. Uh, that being said, the rest of the credits from here on out is the same old song and dance. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through that now so that way you don't have to worry about it too much. And I'll see you guys at the end.
Okay, I reckon I'll just start coming back into this uh, for a little bit. So, uh, this is our second path of Let's Play Star Fox 64. Uh, I do intend to do at least one more path, so, of course, thinking about, you know, the different planets that we've already been to, the different sectors that we've already gone to, the different bases we've already gone to, uh, there's only a few left. The hard path. Of course, I haven't decided quite yet if I'm gonna try and just do pure hard path or not, or if I'm just gonna try and, uh, see what happens in Sector Z, because Sector Z can be a little dodgy. I'm not gonna admit that, I, I'm not, I won't deny that. Sector Z can be a little touchy, especially depending on how your team teams are doing beforehand, and whether or not they want to try and steal all your glory. Because Sector Z can also be a bit of a hassle in scoring a lot of points in. But, again, it's not too urgently about points. Obviously, I'll keep the, the point battle option open for anybody who wants to go through it, but this has been the conclusion of our second path of Let's Play Star Fox 64. And Andros is still alive. Which means, and this is of course because we took the first path, but does that mean our father is too? However, woo! Booyah! Best third, fourth best score possibly ever? Um, definitely not. Hold on. Uh, well, that sucks because, you know, normally I try and enter these in with the apartment number of which I'm living with at the time, because, I mean, I'm the one that I'm the one that's playing this game, you know, ain't nobody else doing it. Uh, so that being said, of course, my current apartment number has four numbers, so I'm just gonna have to go with that then, for the meantime. Yeah, that works for me. So, yeah, so 1305, that is my new... 10th best score ever, so uh, I'm pretty si excited about that. So if you, again, I am open for score challenges if you guys want to post, the, post those as well. Alright, so that being said, number 10. Alright, booyah. Alright guys, so of course, here's the bill. What? You know it. $64, sucka. Um, well, anyway, thank you General Pepper, Sergeant Pepper. Okay, I, I, me not knowing anything about um, military ranks, military stuff in general, uh, do you have to become a Sergeant Pepper before you become a General Pepper? I would assume yes, but in all honesty, I have no idea. But, that being said, so, at one time he was a Sergeant Pepper, and I'm sure he got plenty of jokes about it. But, well, I mean, if they have Einstein in that universe, why not the Beatles, you know? Anyway, uh, this has been Big Mac saying later, and I will see you guys on the third path of Let's Play Star Fox 64.